Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nick from Nick's Crypto Investments. Welcome back to yet another video. Today's video is going to be on Project X nodes. If you guys are new here, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button. I want you guys to stay up on all of my latest videos. I come out with videos almost daily, usually five to six times a week. I cover a large variety of node projects and play to earn games and anything really passive income. Right now, this is kind of my niche and what I've been studying a lot in the DeFi space. So as always, for my new viewers, I always start on the Discord of whatever project I'm covering. I like to use the Discord to check out the announcements, kind of go through and see what they've been doing over the last couple of weeks and see what new things are coming to the project. Today we're going to start out on the 13th of January. This is quite far back, so we're going to be skipping through a lot of these announcements, but I will be pointing out and highlighting some of the main ones for you guys so you guys can understand what is coming and what has already came and why I think this might be a solid project and also some other news. They are uh, most likely going to be joining the UOT, which is awesome as of right now that is comprised of Thor nodes, Power nodes, which are both doing amazing, and Hive Investments, which is coming soon. So stay tuned for that because Hive Investments, I am have never been more hyped for a project honestly ever uh in crypto i i cannot wait i think it's going to be absolutely insane the hype around it already is just ridiculous but that's besides the point we've spent enough time but let's jump in the video so uh getting started it looks like on the 13th of january they did a uh treasury uh the the collective now owns uh 72 time 484 heck i don't see these being the best investments as dows aren't doing very well but we'll see where those investments take them they did migrate to a v2 launch or a v2 contract which is awesome uh we will go over some of the rewards and everything coming with that as well our pc endpoints are, are on the way uh, yes, they're the same type. Uh, the same type of nodes as Strongblock. Yes, all nodes will receive an endpoint. Yes, we uh, we're just getting started. So I think that that's awesome. Most node projects need endpoints. Uh, it helps prove they are a legitimate node, along with having to get a validator node. We all know this. V2 was not released yet. Um, starting January 17th, node re uh, rewards will revert back to 0.17. Uh, Project X tokens per node a day in the anticipation of our V2 deployment. This will not impact your current accumulated rewards. Um, they will announce on the 17th the V2 deployment date. So we're going to go over some numbers. Uh, I kind of pulled up with this new number how much one node will create you a day, a week, a month, and a year. How much it's also going to cost you to buy into this project at today's current price. Uh, so don't go off uh, this forever. Whatever I show you will be off today's current price. Uh, but this is awesome. Uh, rewards reductions, you know, I believe that that is perfectly fine as long as it's for the long-term sustainability of the project. Uh, we've seen Thor nodes do this. We've seen Strongblock do this. Um, I'm sure at some point um, Power nodes might do a very, very minimal, very minimal reward reduction because they're gaining a lot of traction but honestly the rewards are pretty stellar right where they're at so i think they might be fine honestly in the long term without having to touch the rewards at all um so in the next hour the following is going to happen trading will be disabled for v1 uh so pretty much they were implementing all of v2 uh on the 17th as we mentioned earlier so that is awesome snapshot is taking longer than usual that's fine v2 has not been released yet only uh, only follow official announcements uh, so it looks like they're uh, planning to get it rolled out on the 17th um 
so it looks like there here's some uh the contract updates and reward contract updates so this is what's in effect now so we're going to take a look at this reduce uh cell pressure on no uh no create small uh cells on no creation are now reduced and bashed into cells uh cells every x amount of nodes uh, which can be modified with market to minimize cell impact percent uh, percents uh, percentages into each wallet treasury smoothing ops can be changed more easily to allow more seamless allocation of funds to where it's required uh, percentage sell to AVAX reduced again to reduce cell pressure and allow more flex uh, flexibility 10 to 20 percent extra uh, will I am continuing this video from another part. I uh, had someone knock on the door, so we're just going to <laughs> jump right back into this. Um, so, uh, per percentage uh, sell to AVAX reduced, again, to reduce sell pressure and allow more flexibility. 10 to 20% extra will stay as PX2 and sold to AVAX or, uh, or other as... That's really weird... Um, wording i don't know why they word it like that when required for the treasury so i guess uh when it's required to go to the treasury that i don't know why they word it like that they 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 need to work on their wording i'm not a big fan of how they do a lot of this <laughs> um sell tax as discussed variable zero percent plus sell tax is now available on the token to be used appropriately initially sell tax set to minimize dumpage which will be reduced to a framework that will be outlined to community See, I one thing that I, I like is that they're being very like detailed and, and transparent. But they need to word a lot of this as smoothly as they possibly can. Because you're gonna have a lot of new people coming as a no project. And I think it's very important that they try to word this a little bit better, more English uh termed. Um, because you're gonna have some people that are gonna look at this and have no idea what the jargon looks like. Um, so they touched upon a couple things like reducing cell pressure by allocating funds to certain places and cell taxes as well, which they do have a cell tax, they have an 18% cell tax. Um, so they just need to word it better for the community, in my personal opinion. Modify modifiable rewards token address. This means that rewards can be paid out in any token in the future, allowing not only future token contract migrations, but also payment of rewards in non-native, uh, more non-native. I don't see. They just make run-on sentence. That that's I don't I don't understand it. Whoever this guy is needs to to work on his sentences. <laughs> uh, more easily modifiable rewards amounts and time cycles. We all know the issues there were with this, so this is resolved, so that pending rewards are moved into locked claimable, meaning future changes to rewards up or down will not affect unclaimed rewards. 0% claims tax, claim tax will still present, will will still be present, but can and is set to 0% for this foreseeable future. So they could add it at some point uh, if the project is not making as much money. Uh, because maybe there's too much no creation or too much uh, fluctuation in pr price or something, and they just need to add a, a claim tax. Thor has claims tax right now. They don't, so this is awesome. Um, node spot rewards. We will now have the ability to uh, for spot rewards outside the standard model. This can be used for future fun, so that's awesome. Um, node expires less maintenance fees, as discussed, is something potentially for future s sustainability. Um, uh, so I, I think that this is good. I think there should be a, a maintenance fee. I, I do. I think that um, most, if not all, no projects should have this. It helps uh, produce funds into the treasury or the rewards pool, whichever they decide. I believe it should go to the rewards pool and can be distributed back to all of the holders. Helps with long-term sustainability quite immensely. It adds up very quickly. Um so we're going to try to skip a, around here. Uh, slippage, 22% just in case you are selling. Increase if slippage is failing. Uh, coin market cap and everything. Uh, official V2 contract address. So that's quite important. Uh, if you guys want that, it's on the 19th of January. 100 founders destroy 10,000 PXT tokens. Uh, 150,000 USD. And first ever burn effort to reduce total supply. Now 990. 
thousand burn baby burn. So this is awesome. Uh, adding a burn mechanic helps with the price as well. Um, so a new feature that's amazing. Our collective members, uh, you can now view and track rewards from multiple wallets. Uh, so this is pretty, pretty awesome. I think that is very cool. The website went back online. Um, so that's awesome. Let's, uh, let's see if we got anything else in here. Okay, so over the counter, uh, over the counter requests, basically. Uh, so for big buyers and big sellers, they don't want to uh, allow the price to fluctuate. When someone sells, like say two hundred thousand, it might bring the price down a little bit. They don't want that to happen. Uh, so they're doing over the counter uh, trades, uh, selling ten thousand, buying ten thousand. I think that's awesome. Most no projects have it, so it's glad to see that they have it as well. Uh, you can just do that in a ticket, uh, and they also have it on their website where you can go right to it. I have it pulled up for you guys, so I will show you guys that later. Uh, so it looks like um, they're trying to uh, get degenerate high APY plays, take all the way to sensible wearing a big boy pants investments. Uh, so first up is Metis, Metis Dow. Why low cost speed security? They have a plenty of reasons here. We believe $150 region is quite initial entry and uh, quite a great initial uh, great initial entry and expect large upside over Q1 and Q2. And oh yes, we know about the unlock on uh, in February, so that's cool. You trust why? Uh, so some say you don't get anything for a pair in this game, but we say you do. Uh, so point, uh, so 20 cents is a good entry and with some other big names, PayPal, cough, uh, Apple looking to make plays, we anticipate one of two things, growth of the market, uh, or a much bigger, tasty acquisition into a mainstream global brand. So those seem like pretty solid, um, investment choices, a little bit different than what some other, like what Thor's doing, but I think that's still good. Uh, official OTC request solution, so they uh, now update five grand, so that's cool. Um, it looks like they cho chose Metis for the purchase as well, so that's one of their uh, new investments. So it looks like they're now on D Bank, so you can check out where the treasury is and what they're doing. So that is awesome. Uh, that we love to see the transparency there as well. Uh, it looks like they had another solution for the OTCs. Uh, RPC endpoints are officially live on the 29th, so that is awesome. And they had they have weekly or monthly AMAs. X Collective, uh, founder of the UOT or Loki, uh, the devs at Project X have been very clear in their intentions in joining the UOT, and I fully expect them to successfully go through the application process. Keep on noting node nodding x collective or noting i believe it's noting uh because i'm retarding wag me so this is awesome this is a re main reason why i'm covering this project if you have not uh known me i absolutely love thor and i love loki and i love the uot in general so this is just as massive this is one reason why i know i need to get into this project and i plan on jumping right into this project uh, immediately uh, 145 metis uh, were added so that's also awesome and that's that so let's jump right over uh, into the um, the website here so if you go to project x dot financial it will pop you up to here uh, make sure your wallet is connected for metamask um, and make sure you approve the contract and it will pop up to here so you'll be able to create a node here. Uh, daily rewards are 0.17, as we said. You get an in, uh, reward interval in one hour. Node cost, um, uh, node cost is 10 PXT2s, uh, uh, which I'm going to break all this down um, on the notepad that I have set up. Claims tax 0%, sell tax 18%. So that is all fine and dandy. I like the node. No maintenance fee at the moment and no claim tax, so you're still early in my opinion. Uh, so they have a new logo. They are KYC Assured. So the devs are KYC Assured, so that's awesome. I love the transparency. They also have a medium post. 
so here's where if you click on the top right here to OTC, it will bring you to over-the-counter requests. Fill out all this information and submit it to make sure that you uh, don't hurt the price action if you are a whale. So it looks like currently the price is at 38.37. Uh, they are up 19% in the past three months. It looks like they had a very nice run up and they came down and corrected for a little bit and they are back on the rise. So this is awesome to see. Um, you might want to get it before it blasts off. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I come into you for entertainment purposes only. So make sure you do your own research before you get into this project. Uh, when you go to buy PXT2 tokens, it will pull you up to here, which is Bogged Finance, where you can swap your AVAX and you can swap it over to PX2, uh, PXT2 tokens. Um, make sure you have your wallet connected. Uh, also have it up on here on CoinGecko, where you could kind of like see how much it will cost if you put 10 nodes in, whatnot. Um, so I'm going to walk through... I have it written on a notepad here, and I'm going to pull it on over for you guys so you guys can see it. So it's going to, at the current price that I took it from CoinGecko, it was uh, $37.89. Uh, so to create one node, uh, it's going to cost you $378.90. So that's not bad. That is a very low entry point in my personal opinion. Uh, you can get a Heimdall for, like, I believe this will make you more than a Heimdall. Uh, quite honestly, um, and I think that the price is not going to be at $37 for much longer. I don't see it staying here. I do see it going up very soon and very fast, especially with the UOT announcement. So it's not financial advice, but I think that this is still a great entry point. So 0.17 a day makes you $6.44 a day. That's $45 a week, $180 a month. $2,160 a year. So you can pretty much seven times your money um, in a year from one node. And that's at current prices. That's not if prices go up. It's also not if prices go down, right? And it looks like at these current prices, it's also going to take you about two months uh, and a week. We'll just rough, roughly say 90 days to get your money back. Right, so that's all fine and dandy. 90 days ROI isn't too horrible. Um, that is a that's a long time in coming, uh, and in the crypto, especially in crypto time, 90 days a lot can change in 90 days. Um, one thing that I'm not a big fan of, I didn't see anything for like a white paper here. Um, it kind of just for, you click on vision thinking that that's going to bring you, uh, but it brings you to their medium post, which maybe they're using as their white paper. Um, so that's fine. Maybe that's what they're doing. Um, but I do think that there's a lot of potential here. Um, in the past 90 days, you can kind of see that I, I really think that we're not going to be sitting here for very much longer. It seems like the all time high was like 44, 46 dollars. Um, so I, we're, I think we're going to get back there quite quite quick, um, and I think we're going to blow past that. Uh, so I think that this might be a good time to get in the Project X market, in the node market, if this is more appealing to you, if this is a good entry point. Personally, I'm going to get in it. Um, I haven't created a node yet, um, but real quick, we're going to go over how to buy it because you need Avalanche. So you want to make sure you go to... Uh, MetaMask Chrome Download. You're going to click on Download MetaMask for Chrome. After you get that, set up your MetaMask wallet. How to uh, how to add Avalanche to MetaMask. You can click on the support.avax.network. It will show you how to uh, implement it. You're going to need to click on the down arrow. And you're going to click Add Network. It will pull you up to the screen. You're going to copy and paste all of this information right here, and you will have the Avalanche network set up. Once you have that set up, you're going to need to uh, send Avalanche C chain, Avalanche C chain, from your Coinbase, Binance, wherever you're buying it from, KuCoin. Send it right to your MetaMask. It will then populate in your MetaMask Avalanche wallet, and from there you would uh, swap it. So you will come to this page where it said buy 
on the website. It will bring you here. You would make sure you leave some in AVAX for your gas fees. You, I recommend leaving like 0.1 to 0.2. That's just what I do. I leave a little bit extra. I like to have a pretty hefty amount. You would swap it, make sure it's enough to create one node. You will come here, approve the wallet. I had to approve it twice, so make sure you do that. And then you would be able to create as many nodes as you want. Um, you could just do one node to start, $378, not bad. And you would click create node. It would then pop up down here, show your claimables and how much you're making a day. And that's it for this video, guys. I'm going to make sure I stay up to date on what they're doing, their treasury movements, any big announcements, reward reductions, maintenance fees, everything else. I've been now going to be covering this project. Again, this was a long one. I had to do it. Uh, but that is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.